All right, so let me see if I can level out the camera again. It's weird how the floor is brown, but the ceiling is gray. It's the same lava, right? I don't think it's dirt. I think it's a little more complicated than that. But anyway. But as you can see, this is the upper end. For real. So now I'm getting back there. Look at that nice big sharp point there. Cool. Alrighty then. Well, alright, so there's the upper end of Hercules Leg Cave. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle my way back through here. Most of this cave is easy, but it's kind of big. Especially if you include Hercules Leg Cave and uh, uh, what's the other one? Juniper Cave is one big cave. Wow, look at this sharp ridge here. All right. You know, I'm going to be trying every um, entrance to go out and mark it on my GPS. I'll pause the video for that. But I'm curious about the skylights. If I can't get out, will my GPS still work by getting signal through the ceiling? That'd be kind of educational. Interesting how in here, nice, bright, pretty ceiling there. No sign of bats yet. If a cave around here has like six or more bats, they'll close it to the public. But if there's only one or two, they'll leave it open. So maybe I'll get lucky and find one or two bats. See how that goes. So I've got the main tube splits here. I think this is actually Hercules' leg. It's a pillar, the end. Here we get again with the wall having a small balcony. We turn around so you see it better. Yeah, there's a small balcony along here. I just like the way it looks like it's melted candle. Except, well. in fact, I was thinking if I was rich and I had an amusement park, I'd want to make a cave like this out of wax. I think that would work really well. So I think actually wax burns, so I'd have to Take precautions against making sure nobody lights it on fire. <laughs> hmm. Kind of an ugly way to get a bunch of people killed, have them trapped inside a giant candle. Alright. Yeah, maybe that's why it's never been done <laughs> that I know of. Of course, if it's been done, I'm sure nobody would bother to tell me. So alright, anyway, here we go. Yeah, look at the ceiling, how it's mostly gray rock, but then the cracks in the rock are where it's colorful. And then over here where the ceiling broke down, it's where it's browner. So obviously I could cut through here to the right, but there's a trail to the left. They ask us to follow the trail if there is one. Obviously there is one. So here I go. We. I'm hoping to be able to get through this cave twice today. Once clockwise and once counterclockwise. It's drier over here. So it's a little bit brighter. Kind of neat. No sign of bats yet. I want to pan up and let you see the ceiling though. Look at how the ceiling is like really uneven. I don't know. My flashlight's kind of lighting it up uneven. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can get back a little bit. Something like that. All right, so there's the way it came down. Kind of cool how the ceiling here is like almost 15 feet tall all of a sudden it's just 10 feet tall it's like there was an air bubble a gas bubble or something here 
inflating the ceiling in just a little bit of area. Volume, however you say that. Space, the vital frontier. Okay, so here's the question. How ambitious am I feeling? So, so there's natural light ahead. That's the way out. There's a trail here to the left. Wow, it smells like dirty hay or something here. All right. So, as you can see, oh, that's a dead end. It doesn't go through. Okay, in that case, I'm not going to try to crawl through there. Oh, I know what it smells like. It smells like rat, you know what? Okay. In that case, I'm not going to bother to try to crawl through there if it's a dead end. I could go over this way, but then I'd have to hop down. I'll go ahead and go back down the, to the left and um, take the trail. Be my good de deed for the day, staying on the trail. Mostly, <laughs> ish. I'm not sure what it means, but look at the floor here, how there's like white stuff. I doubt that's white nose syndrome, but something weird going on over there. It's very wet here, obviously. There's a puddle and stuff. So yeah, up there is where I just was. Ooh, ah. So you see a face in the entrance. There's a lot of natural light ahead of me. I don't know if you could tell, but there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of moisture in the air. It's like 100% humidity here because of the, uh, all the water. It's probably the wettest non-ice cave around here. There's that little side thingy there. Stop here to let you enjoy the view. I think my camera's doing okay. Facing light is obviously not the best lighting, but I'm too lazy to come here at night and try to explore. Okay, so there's the trail ahead. There's a side passage here. I'm pretty sure it's a dead end. So I'm gonna try not to trample it too far. Oops. Oh wow. Yeah, see that goes away back. Oops. But it'd be kind of a rough belly crawl. Oh wow, you know what? It does look like it goes back away. Alright, I'm going in. This looks like it might be worth. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and climb up here. Shouldn't be that hard. Little belly crawling shouldn't hurt my belly that much. Uh. Yeah, as you can see, it gets bigger, really wide, and then smaller again. You know what? I'm not gonna bother. We get the idea. Maybe on when I'm doing the other clockwise video, I'll have more time. But. I want to see if I can finish this real quick. All right. I have to be careful my head here. It's a really low ceiling. Okay, so here's the uh, upper entrance, the south 